Hey guys, Joey from Tech Tips and More, and I'm back with a What's on My iPhone X video. So yeah, let's get started. So as I said, I'm back with a What's on My iPhone X video. So I've been waiting to make one of these videos for a pretty long time, actually. I personally find them super entertaining, super fun to watch. I always watch like Marquez Brownlee, they, uh, everyone else like that, uh, your average consumer. People always make these videos. They're super awesome, and I just thought I would make one for myself. So I'm going to be showing you, first of all, I'm going to start off with my wallpapers. Then I'm going to go on to the apps and uh, tell you the features of them. And yeah, pretty much just recommend them to you. So let's get started. So first of all, my wallpapers. For some reason, I re I'm really fascinated with wallpapers and home screen uh, wallpapers. I just find them like, I think it's really important to have a good one. So I normally switch them up every two months, we'll say. Now, this is my lock screen wallpaper. It's a nice picture of, uh, it's like, it's almost like the iPhone, uh, like with the Mac wallpaper, but it's actually taken by a photographer from Reddit. So I'll link that down below. And my home screen is this. Someone commented it was like a Tide Pod thing, but that's it. Uh, I'll link it down in the description so you can get that too. And I'm not going to link all the apps down below because I feel like that's going to take too long. So you can just search them up. So starting off on the first page, my weather app of choice is it's called Hello Weather. Um, it's really simple. It's not anything like great, but that's what I like it for, the simpleness, because it still gives you lots of information. Like it says some descriptions up there gives you some more um, detailed descriptions there as well as the weekly forecast. It just looks really great. I'm thinking of joining the wet, the fan club which gives you a couple extra features. It's like uh, six bucks a year I think. But yeah, it's really great. I personally recommend Hello Weather. Um, moving on, I use Waze which is just a traffic app. I'm sure you um, know that. I'm sure it's pretty popular so just check that out if you want. I'm not going to go into this rarely used folder because I rarely use them, as you can tell. And so yeah, onto the next page, which is where most of my apps are. So first of all, Reddit at the top. I use this a ton. It's probably, it's definitely my top three most used apps on my phone. Uh, it's just really awesome. You can browse communities of things you like. Like I, I personally am in Leafs uh, for Toronto Maple Leafs, uh, sports, iPhone, Apple, uh, funny. And yeah, so just all different things that are uh, pretty funny. It's super awesome. I, I would highly recommend it. All you do is scroll through, in case you don't know what Reddit is, and it mixes up um, different uh, the, your different communities. So it's in one big feed, which is great. So check out Reddit. Then Uber, I'm not going to explain that. You already know what that is. Spotify, I like it over Apple Music. Quartz is a cool app. I don't use it a whole lot, but basically it texts you news things. So as you can see... Um, it says good afternoon and then it gives you a news thing at the bottom and if you want to see if you want to hear more about it then you press the emoji which is that goal horn but um, I'm not if you don't want to then you press next and it moves on to another story so that's really cool it's a, mo a modern take on it. it actually won Apple's app of the year a couple years ago I think so yeah that's really cool check it out it's called Quartz Next up is uh, my sports. I've been using the NHL app for a really long time, but I found that I've been wanting to check other sports scores. And also the NHL app takes a ton of data. So I'm trying to switch over to the score, which uh, is probably the most popular sports app. So yeah, just check those out. It's, they're really great. They, uh, they give you, they let you follow um, sports teams uh, that you want to see. Uh, right now the Olympics are on, so you can check the medal standings here, which is nice. Go Canada. And yes, yeah, so that's really nice. Check out those two. YouTube, I'm not going to explain that, obviously. Uh, it's a cool app. You might have heard of it. Uh, eBay, I'm not going to explain that. Maze Dash, this is just a little game. It's not It's not really the best layout. I, you can tell that someone made it kind of fast. It's still really glitchy. I just like the premise of it. It's a free game. Basically, what you do is uh, you swipe this guy. And these are portal kind of things because I've made it that far. But basically, you want to get all the parts. See, I'm trapped here without going over uh, any spots. So you can't go over yourself obviously but you have to fill the entire map. It's a pretty fun game. It's pretty uh, nice and simple uh, it's, and it gets pretty tough eventually too so highly check that out. It's lots of fun. So next up we have the fantasy slash freebies folder where I have a whole bunch of apps. Um, these are I made videos on most of these actually so check out those videos. They're just things where you can make money on them or stuff like that. Um, yeah, I made videos on nearly all these, all the important ones. So uh, you can just go watch the videos on those. 
Instagram, PayPal. One password is an app where you keep your passwords in it. These are my photo editing apps. I use Photoshop Express, Enlight, and Tada. Tada is free, Photoshop Express is free, and Enlight is like six bucks, I think. Um, but really, the best one out of these, I think, is Photoshop Express. It's really the best one out of the ball. So check out that too. Facebook, I don't use really at all. Uh, calculator of the game, it's a pretty cool concept. Basically, you get a certain amount of moves each time. And you have to try and get to the, so as you can see, the goal up here is 41. You get four moves, and it starts at 88. And you have to do these commands and try and end up at 41 in that many moves. So, yeah, it's pretty hard, actually. Uh, it took me forever to beat this one level. But, yeah, so check that out. It's tons of fun. Snapchat, BetterNet's just a VPN. This is just a bus app. Doesn't Don't worry about that. Uh, Netflix, Twitter, Product Hunt. This is a really good app. I highly recommend it. Basically, it tells you a whole bunch of new products that come out that day. This is just a beta version. They just came out, so um, that's why that feedback, feedback thing came up. But as you can see, you can scroll through all these cool um, products that came out recently, or they're just running a feature on recently, and you can upvote them, and that's like liking them. I haven't logged in yet. But yeah, it's super fun. Check it. This is where I actually saw this app in a what's on my iPhone video and decided to download it. So, yeah, it's lots of fun. Uh, you can talk with other people on there, too. Sometimes they have chats with famous people. And, yeah, so check out Product Hunt. Google Photos, just a photo app. Roger Smart Home. One SE, this is a really cool concept. Basically, what you do is you record one second of yourself every day, and you can watch it at the end of the year. I'm not going to go on it because it has, like, a bunch of pictures of my life in it, which is kind of weird, but... Um, so yeah, check that out. It's tons of fun. They did a TED Talk on it, and it's not that big of a deal. It's only one second a day, so it's not like you're going to have to rec like be like a vlogger every single day. Just one quick second, say you're at the Leaf game, film that, and at the end of the year, you can watch it and reflect back on your life. And this app is actually kind of expensive. It's like seven bucks, I think, so I'm not sure why it's that much, but in the end, if you use it for a couple years, it'll uh, pay off. So next page, we got Uber Eats at the top. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, order food to your house. Next is Best Brokers. This is just a stock trading app kind of thing. As you can do, as you can see with my stocks here, I'm doing pretty bad right now. But yeah, so you just uh, you can go to the trading center. It's a stock simulator where you can buy things. Say I want to buy Bitcoin, I press buy and buy how many I want. And I can just do that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, check that out. Black Box is a game. I haven't even played it yet, so I'm not going to bother going over that. Tim Hortons, I Love Hugh, is a really awesome game. It's probably my favorite game on my phone right now. It's super addicting. Um, so basically what you do is you get... Um, I'll try and get it to start. One second. I'll just choose a level to show you guys. So I'll just replay this one. And basically what you do is it mixes up the colors, and you have to get it into a perfect hue like you had it before. So you can just move the colors around, and eventually it will look uh, like a perfect hue. It's tons of fun, highly addicting. I would highly recommend that, and it's free. Letterboxd is a app with movies on it. You can rank your movies, and uh, it's like a movie diary, which is kind of cool. Telegrams is a chatting thing. YouTube Studio, where I can track you guys and uh, respond to your comments. I respond to pretty much all comments that are at least questions. So uh, leave some comments on this video, and I will respond to you. Flipboard is a news app. Served is a um, restaurant movie, restaurant app that lets you see the menus of the restaurants. That's kind of cool. I actually, fun fact, when I used to, te or I still test apps occasionally and get money for it. This was one of the apps that I tested, so that was pretty cool. And StockX is for buying sneakers. Um, yeah, so you can just go on here. Um, I'm a bit of a sneakerhead myself, so. Um, it's highly recommended. Stock Act, StockX is probably my favorite shoe buying uh, site. And yeah, so that's my, those are my apps. Uh, so I hope you guys like them. Hopefully you saw at least a few that you liked and you wouldn't mind downloading because um, it's really cool. I love uh, seeing other people's phones and normally I find little tidbits that I didn't see before and they are re I turn out to really like those apps. So but comment down below what your favorite apps are, and I will make sure to download a couple of them and test them out. This has been Joey from Tech Tips and More. Peace, guys.